Uh, good morning, my name is Stephen Bullock. I did my uh, paper on constructivism. I mainly looked at uh, Matthew Calloway's international relations theory at Primer and uh, Alexander Wentz's constructivism and international relations for my baseline. So that would be my definitions and the overall root of the theories. Looking at like Alexander Wentz as the founder really of constructivism, I saw his as more of a baseline. I found my own article or uh, not article, but paper that he wrote that had been uh, re-edited and reassessed and reviewed. So I'll use that one from the 2005 publishing because it had more added to it and more critiques were supplemented into it. Um, it looked at his as more like this is where the theory is. And then I mainly drew on Matthew and Calloway's definitions of these particular topics to kind of give myself something more familiar from the class to write into the paper as well the other papers I used uh, for assessing my paper was Ian Hurd's constructivism Catherine Fosnott uh, constructivism theory perspectives and practices Maya Zephus uh, constructivism international relations the political the politics of reality Carrie Minx and uh, Heather McKibben essentials of international relations Stefano Gazzini a Reconstruction of Constructivism and International Relations, Roland Palin's A World of Their Making, an Evaluation of Constructivist Critique in International Relations, Realist Constructivism by uh, Samuel Barkin, and Norms in Social Constructivism and International Re Relations by uh, Matthew J. Hoffman. I mainly drew on these uh, because I found a lot of them to either have a, not too crazy of a critique of constructivism to where like, I couldn't process or understand what their basis for it was but it was just enough to where it mostly added to or saw a slight problem and it wanted to tweak the overall idea of constructivism but it didn't do too much to become something totally different of its own theory which is something that I think a lot of constructivists do where they try to draw constructivism into realism when it is outright trying to reject realism and go for something that doesn't that can reject the natural order of anarchy. So these authors kind of seem to want to support more realist thought in constructivism, but at the same time, they would rather see constructivism remain somewhat the way it was, and that's why I chose these authors. Uh, I know for for my paper that uh, Ian Hurd's and uh, both uh, Barkin and Hoffman, as well as Pollen, they had the most critiques of uh, international constructivism they kind of seem to view more of a uh, an idea and approach to adding more realist school of thoughts as I went through the paper uh, their ideas become more prevalent while the beginning stages it's mostly authors that would agree with the the understanding and ideas of like both Went and Matthews and Calloway uh, I mainly broke down my paper kind of based on what I generalize as the structure of constructivism based on what we have read in class and then also based on Callaway and Matthews understand or like format to explaining it. It mainly focuses on just the theory overall and what parts of the theory and the structure of the theory uh, are most important and valuable. Uh, it mainly looks at things like ontology, uh, what it accepts as valid and what it does not accept as valid and then goes, goes over the overall definition. I'm sorry, I also have a nosebleed. Um, I got hit in the face today, so it was not a good day. Um, and it also focuses on uh, the challengings of realism. Uh, this is kind of like, this was probably the hardest part of my paper to write, but it was also the part where I, uh, the more critiques began to pop up as you kind of go through what constructivism was or what it is. And uh, you kind of see more people lean off of constructivism and focus a little bit more heavily towards realism as their critique for the overall understanding of constructivism. So in in my paper, uh, particularly, uh, the understanding that things such as like uh, the tendency for uh, many uh, constructivists to, uh, to lump in with all approaches that uh, that kind of become like a neo-neo debate 
that was one thing that popped up both in theirs and in other articles that I read online. Uh, it kind of seemed to be the point where they were trying to basically understand why constructivism rejects certain parts of realism and particularly how countries interact with each other and why they're interacting with each other. And the paper kind of just discusses this is the overall view of constructivism and how those nations interact and why they interact based on past relations, uh, history, uh, particular beliefs, and other things like that. But then also why these authors think that this might not be entirely valid and why they might want to add this or that to the particular uh, theory itself in order to give their own critique to understanding why the theory is laid out this way or how it could be improved. Uh, the next thing I kind of did was I touched on identities and interests, uh, mainly just like how nations view themselves. And then in this, I also, even though materialists or materialist school of thought and how they view materialism and constructivism is more rooted in sort of like the rationality behind rejecting realism, uh, the identities and the interests of uh, particular actors within a uh, this methodology was kind of seen as being more critiqued in this point, especially when it came to materials. So, like what certain actors find to be a security interest, and then what other actors would not, based on the threats imposed by other actors, uh, and then as well identities. So, how a state would view itself, uh, whether it would view itself more as a democracy that's understanding and listening to the people or more as an authoritarian regime, or one that's interested in a particular type of material, or one that's not. Uh, this is kind of also where uh, social interactions became really big, and I think a lot of act, uh, a lot of the uh, authors within my paper decided that, you know, certain social interactions are possible between non-ideologically aligned countries, and constructivism seems to kind of lean more towards because their ideologies are so different, it's not as possible. Uh, some actors believe that due just specifically due to the fact that uh, certain occurrences from realism, such as like the economic benefits of cooperation and the natural anarchy of the world does actually push constructivists to become more cooperative, interactive. Uh, as well, I also focus on norms. So norms are a big part of constructivism or kind of like rooted in how it operates and it's something it relies heavily on. Uh, most of the actor or most of the authors mainly point to the fact that constructivists uh, will often look at norms and rely heavily on those norms. And I just sort of took the three basic norms of like regulative, constitutive, and evaluative and prescriptive norms and we broke those down and gave an opinion from what authors would disagree with that statement and or had something to add to it. Um, the main format of my paper uh, would also look at kind of like the areas that the constructivists focus on and which ones they don't, as well as which ones they should add to their focus area. <laughs> Mainly just like looking at the overall goals, threats, uh, fears, cultures, identities, and uh, basically the social realities and social facts within constructivism that need to be addressed in, the, in an overall broad sense of things. Uh, some had some things to put in, some did not. Uh, some pretty, a lot of the authors uh, will usually just tend to, tend to agree with uh, went, but other authors had slight points they wanted to make that would validate why constructivists kind of fall short in certain research areas, uh, particularly when discussing topics such as the EU, where uh, statutive like sort of abilities are in, inherent due to the fact that states give up their rights to join this organization. Uh, as well, I also focused on um, basically formatting my paper in a way that allowed me to kind of input these uh, thoughts from the author and apply them in a way that made sense to me uh, in a writing sense and was able to uh, sort of get critiques while also not drawing directly too far off the source but was able to get more of an addition and less of a criticism from the authors and what their thoughts on the ideas of constructivism was. And as well, I also believe that a lot of the authors in my paper had a good sense of what they could add to constructivism without being overdrawn generally too critical 
And that is the basic summary of how my paper is formatted and what it's on.